Hello again everybody, this is Derek from ScreamingGoalAirsoft.com and today uh, I'm going to do a know-it-all video and this one is basically just how to take apart your M4 and how to get to the internals. And then from there we'll do other internal reviews on how to change and swap out pieces on the inside. But currently I'm just going to show you how to get into them. How to disassemble your M4 and here we go. First thing I always do is take the forward grips off. Pulling this o-ring back. Those come off pretty easily. self explain Pretty self easy, right? Awesome. We're just going to take the top from the bottom. Okay. My wires are connected here to the fuse. Shrink wrap. Shrink right there. Okay. Those are held together with just clips and shrink. Uh, uh, shrink. Heat shrink. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop these two pins out. Different AEGs, different M4s have different ways for these pins to come out. Some of them have ones you have to unscrew. Some of them have ones you can just tap out of there. Um, I'm just going to tap these out because I do believe that's the way it goes. Check that out. Check that out. Yeah, that one's tight. Okay. That one's not so tight. Okay, I recommend when you're taking parts out to kind of put them in an order that when you know you put them back in, you don't have to think. You can just say, okay, well, this is the front and this is the back, or however you want to do it. So you just don't throw them out. This upper receiver, lower receiver. cutting the shrink tape so that these two pieces can come apart. Okay, now we got both of these wires disconnected, okay? The uh, black from the black and the red one from the red one. And now I'm going to thread them through this little zip lock, zip tie thing there. Okay, now these should be able to slide out of, there should be a little place in there, a little hole between your upper receiver and your barrel area that these wires can fit through. You have to feed them through and it's easier to go one at a time that way you're both the connectors aren't rubbing against each other making it harder. There it goes. There it is. That's how you remove your upper receiver from your lower receiver. Now, before I take it apart, point out some things. Let's zoom that in just a hair. Okay, right here, there's a little plastic piece or metal piece. Looks like a C-clamp that goes from here to there. That's basically just to hold your wires down and in place, you know, just to keep them out of the way. Keep them away from your feed tube for your BBs. Your BBs come up right through there, and it keeps it away from that. That's what this little wire here, this little clamp thing here is for. Okay, so let's take it off. Wow. 
out of this. C-clamp. Okay, now these wires are free. Now, what's holding your gearbox down? Well, the motor. Two Phillips head screws right there. Should be holding the butt plate on. Some AEGs have a screw right here, some do not. This one looks like it's an Allen wrench hole. Uh, it's either to do one of two things. It either adjusts, this, this one right here, it either adjusts your speed of your motor or it either tightens the motor down against your gears or it keeps the butt plate attached to. All right, next step, removing the trigger symbol. The, uh, Inside the motor casing, there should be a little screw like that, a little nut that uh, allows you to uh, tighten the tension on the motor, and a little metal plate that lays right inside your. There is a washer that lays inside here also. And that washer is fell down inside. I got a hook right there. It's not really a washer, it's kind of like a magnet, as you can tell. It's a magnetic plate right there. All right, you reach inside here and you carefully unplug the motor. Show a red and a black wire. Okay, with the motor unplugged, you should be able to slide your motor out. That's what I like to see. Super high power. Yeah, okay. Motor looks good. Okay, that reveals a couple of screws down there. That keeps your Pistol grip attached to the motor 
ですよ。Okay, that allows you to just take your pistol grip off. Wires have to come out through these holes. Buffer tube. I need to do this. I didn't think I needed to do it. Okay, I grind it. Okay. Of course, that's a star key thing. Off, you gotta have a long enough screwdriver that'll reach down and hit that Phillips head inside. tube here for the BBs. So let's go ahead and take that out. Pieces came from. Okay. That's that feed tube. It was just super tight. Okay, I'll we'll have to edit out some of that wiggle. And now we have the box. Now we can go into a video explaining how to mess with the box. Well, thanks for coming out and checking out this video on how to disassemble your M4. Be sure to watch our follow-up videos on how to install springs and gears and Remember guys, whenever you're on the airsoft field, play safe.